Hello guys, welcome to our tool of PostgreSQL. In this tool, we're going to learn about loops in PostgreSQL. So sometimes we have a situation where we need to create uh, or execute a block of statement that repeats until a condition it becomes true. So in that case, we used to, you know, we use a loop or we need a loop in SQL. So we already are aware of loops. Most of us would be already aware of loops. So we have many kinds of loop, for example, for loop, while loop, nested loops. So in PostgreSQL, we also have a default loop. So we'll talk about the default loop now in this uh, tutorial. In the following tutorial, I'm going to talk about the while loop and the for loop and the nested loops and why and when do you need to use uh, them. So let us start by creating a Fibonacci function and I'll demonstrate the loops um, with the help of the Fibonacci function. So uh, we'll start off by creating a function now. We'll use uh, create or replace function. Fibonacci and we'll accept an integer. So we'll generate the Fibonacci numbers and we'll return the nth Fibonacci number in uh, this one. So we'll just return integer as uh, we'll replace it and this will return the number. So we'll just declare uh, our basic numbers. So we declare a counter first of all, that is of an integer type and set it to zero. Then we declare an integer i, place it to zero. This will be the first Fibonacci number and j integer, that is the second Fibonacci. So we'll just write begin and we'll use the if statement if n is less than one i mean if we have a number that is zero then we'll just return zero and we'll end if and now we'll start the loop we will exit when our counter reaches the nth number and we'll increment the counter each time so you know this step is very necessary in the loop because if we don't do this step it will be an infinite loop i mean this is the counter so it increments each time our uh, our function it goes in a loop so for example if the value is count value of counter is zero this is integer if the value of counter is zero so it comes into loop and it checks if counter is equal to n for example if i pass the n as two so it checks if it is two it returns a false it executes the statement counter becomes one now becomes comes again back to this loop and checks this condition again when exit exit when counter equal to two Ex exit when counter equal to one so it is equal to one now but we have to exit at two so it will run again so it will see counter value counter becomes two now becomes and again gets into this loop and checks if counter equal to two yes it is now equal to two so it exits now so this is the basic formation of a loop so what we'll do is next we'll generate the fibonacci we'll do select j and i plus j into i and j so what this does is generates the Fibonacci sequence. So if we know the Fibonacci sequence, it is one, one, then uh, we have two, three, five, so on. So for example, our first number is uh, zero and the second number is one. So I is equal to zero and J equal to one. So for the second statement, we want I equal to one and J equal to I plus J. So for example, if we have one and one, so we want I to be becoming one next time and j to be becoming two next time so so we just uh, see this for example i equal to one and j equal to one now j equal to one and i plus j becomes two so j becomes uh, the value of j goes into i 
that becomes i becomes 1 now and i plus j's value goes into j so j becomes 2 now and for the next loop it goes on falling so this is it and we end the loop and we return i and we end and the language is pl eg sql so that's it we run now and we have an error oh so here's a mistake so it is returns yeah so run now so yeah it returns successfully yeah so now we have our function so oh just one more thing we have this count we'll just change it to counter plus one and just run it and now we will check our postgres we see that we have a function fibonacci and you can see the declarations here now what we need to do is just select fibonacci of suppose we want the fifth number of the fibonacci sequence that is five yeah we get five suppose we want the seventh number that is 13 yeah we get 13 so guys uh, this was all about fibonacci sequence so if you want a dry run you can just do a quick dry run here so for example suppose uh, the first fibonacci number is 1 so at the first statement we have i equal to 0 and j equal to 1 so if we select you know 1 so uh, you can see the value of i becomes 0 value of j equal to 1 so the value of counter is 0 so j is 1 so i becomes 1 now j becomes 1 plus 0 equal to 1 now so i and j both become 1 at the end the first counter becomes 1 second statement we come again in the loop counter is maximum of suppose 5 the counter is 2 now it doesn't end so counter becomes 3 here so and j becomes i becomes the value of j which is 1 and j becomes i plus j which becomes 1 plus 1 equal to 2 now so it becomes 2 ending the loop now again coming back the counter of counter is 3 maximum is 5 does not end counter becomes 4 now so j becomes uh, the value of i which is i becomes value of j which is 2 and i plus j becomes 2 plus 1 which is 3 so similarly you can see this pattern repeats until 5 until 7 until any number so guys thank you for watching this tutorial subscribe for more and stay tuned in the next video we're going to talk about for loops and while loops until then stay tuned